We have our next call red. Hey, it's a it's a guinea pig. How are you? Is it a guinea pig? It's a cat. Oh, it's a kitty cat. It's a kitty cat. How are you? I'm pleased. I'm great. How are you? Oh, I'm sorry, cat. I mean, Incas. I'm very well, thank you. And I'm I'm sorry, but uh, it seems like pets are popular. Yes. On the joke, so I thought I would hold up my stripper doing cat. And that's a why not? I I don't have a cat. Tell us, tell us your name. (laughs) Say hi. What's your name? My name's Carl Bishop. It's very nice to meet you. But the mirror. Hey, Carl. Being a two shot of me. How are you, John? I'm great. Yeah, you do have a two shot. That's okay. It's good. It's good. I'm doing well. I'm a little. I'm a little tired. It's been a. It's been a long, a long process here with Dancing with the Stars. I've heard, I've heard, and you were in five hours of rehearsal today, and that's got to be tough. I can't even imagine. I don't dance, even though I'm a drummer, you know, for fun. No. Uh, Terrific. All the other drummers I've ever heard speak about, uh, anything they do besides drumming, dancing isn't one of them. Even though they tend to have great senses of rhythm, I don't, I don't think dancer or drummers dance. But uh, you're certainly not a drummer because you dance really well. Well, bless your heart. Thank I I never I I had never really danced before. I was always the guy that sang and the dancers came and did a circle around me and then I went off the stage. <laughs> the best way to dance, as far as I'm concerned. Exactly. So I supposed to ask a question. You yes, certainly, and ask a question oh, if I, you I like. Wasn't, I wasn't trying to I wasn't trying to rush us. I was just I know No no no. We have, little, we have a little delay here, so it's it's uh it seems a little awkward, but it's it's the uh it's the internet. Okay. The internet is not what it could be. It will be. Well, but it's certainly better than it was when I was a kid because it didn't exist. <laughs> this is true. And we do, that, like, do this when I was point, In this one camera I'm using for my two shot. How'd that protect me? I know. I know, but you need. When I was a kid. You need a tripod, my friend. I know. Sorry, I'm, I'm doing this sort of, you know, follow shot like we're on West Wing or something like that. The originator of oh, follow. Nice. So like that. that was great. That <laughs> the was great. Carl, what's your question today? Oh, okay, sorry to, to uh, um, sandbag you with all this other stuff, but my question what? is, and he was, to my knowledge, from South Buffalo, your, um, one of your- Sorrel Buck. Asthma- Sorrel Buck, yes. What, even though he played this corrupt sheriff on the show, what kind of a guy was Sorrel Buck? Sorrel Buck was a delightful, wonderfully thoughtful human being. Um, believe it or not, Sorrel spoke- I believe six languages fluently. Oh, wow. Really? Uh, uh, among them, Japanese, among them, Russian. Wow. So he was, a, he was a lover of words. He would, uh, he would do crossword puzzle with a Sharpie. You know, he was, he was that kind of guy. Wow. But he, he would delight in the words that boss hog would use uh-huh. because he would tell you exactly why boss hog would use them, where he was from, where he went to school, where his parents were from. So he would pull these words out. He wouldn't say dollars or greenbacks. He would say simoleons. Huh. And huh. then he would, he would love to explain, to go into great detail about the derivation of the word simoleons and why someone like Jefferson Davis Hawk would use that word. So he, I loved he, did his, he was, he, he did his character like, that's for sure. Oh, in every, in every regard. He invented um, that, that boss hog character, he, that he, boss hog. Yes. He did. He was not copying anyone. Uh, he invented boss hog from the word go to the way he held his cigar, to the words he used, to the way he ate, uh, to the way he would beckon to people because he was raised a certain way. He was a uh-huh. wonderful man. I, I, I miss Sorrel so much. What a sweetheart. Now, did he have in his regular Sorrel voice, was it a Buffalo accent? No, he sounded kind of like a radio. He sounded kind of like you. You don't have an accent unless you say coffee. No, but I'm, he, I'm from Buffalo too. Kind of, the, kind of a Midwest. I'm from I'm from uh, Mount Kisco, New York. Oh, and okay. I don't really so, unless unless you know, someone. Like, yeah, I don't yeah, have yeah, a, yeah. I don't really have an accent either. Either I did, don't have an accent. Your family, either. your family members. <laughs> your family. What's that? Yeah, they do. My, my actually, my brother, my one brother who lives in uh, Stamford, New York. If he doesn't have he doesn't have a New York accent, he kind of he kind of sounds like uh, Kelsey Grammer's Treasure. Huh. Wow. I've kind of, kind of affected, kind of a little, a little first in hell, the third. See me, uh, but, but my other brother, Mark lives in Connecticut. And he sounds like he lives in Connecticut. You know, come on, John, we'll get some coffee. Yeah, he's yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, my dad sounded like he was from New York. My, my stepmother doesn't sound like she's from New York. She works for Reader's Digest and you couldn't sound like you were from New York if you worked at Reader's no, Digest. Certainly not. So yes, uh, the rest of my company, 
does have a Buffalo accent, except I never did uh, to the extent that they did. Look, every time I get back with them or the Buffalo accent comes out, you know, it's like, hey, good oh, to see yeah. you it's like, it all just, yeah, but if you, you do, I, you have a tendency to kind of, kind of mimic, not mock, and mimic, mimic the people yeah. were around. Uh, mm-hmm. I've, I've spent a lot of time in Canada and I'll wind up saying, hey, yes. you know, it'll come out. I won't say, how's it? I won't say a boot, but I will say, hey, occasionally. <laughs> right. We're just, we're terrible sycophants, John. We're just horrible at that. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> well, I thank you for your question. You take care of yourself. And uh, remember, Star Book, Star Book, 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 it's been a pleasure to be on the show. I'm a huge fan, David. Thank you so much. Oh, my pleasure, Carl. Thank you. Call again.